When I was growing up in Nigeria, there were books that everyone kind of knew about and knew and probably had read. And Weep Not Child was one of those books, Ngugi Wationgo's first novel. I read it in secondary school and I think I also read Petals of Blood in secondary school. I loved it. I loved the romance in Weep Not Child and loved how politically astute it was. And now that I think about it, it brings to mind that expression from Horace who, who wrote that the role of literature is to instruct and delight. And I think Weep Not Child did exactly that for me. It was also a kind of awakening for me to an idea of Africa that was not just about Nigeria. I went on to read other things by Ngugi Wathiongo. I think that Ngugi Wathiongo is one of the most important writers working today. Uh, I read his memoirs and I just remember feeling this sense of affection and admiration and respect. He has exhibited a remarkable level of moral courage as a person in the world and as a writer, as a citizen and as a writer. And I feel quite proud to be part of this modern African literary tradition that has as one of its brightest stars and one of its guiding lights, the great Ngugi Wationgo. I'm a king, yes, I'm a king, I think. I'm a king, okay.